Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today I'm gonna give y'all an update on some of my favorite products, and we'll do a couple of top fives and top tens. Now I promised y'all I was gonna start doing more update videos, so here we go. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. I white shoes, love my white shoes. calm down. Okay, let's start off with the gym. Okay, what headphones do I use in the gym? Now, for me personally, when I'm working out hardcore, there's only one set of headphones that I use, and I've been using these in the gym for the last couple of years, the Skull Candy Crusher Evos. These are my absolute favorite headphones for the gym. Now, they're not audio file quality. These are gonna give you that sensory base. Okay, now, they did come out with the ANC versions, after my comparisons though, I like the Evos a little bit better. I think the bass sounds a little bit more natural. Okay, so when I'm working out and I'm doing hardcore heavyweights, these are the headphones you're gonna see me with in the gym. Now they're not sweat resistant, but as you can see, I've been using these for years. They're actually a little bit moist right now. I just came from the gym about 30 minutes ago. Had these on my heads. I love these, okay? These are the best headphones for when you're trying to lift those heavy weights and you wanna get immersed in your music and you want that bass to give you those last couple of extra reps. These are the ones right here, okay? So these are my recommendation for over-the-air headphones for hardcore workouts. Now, when I'm not lifting heavy weights, sometimes I like to use earbuds. There's really only two sets of earbuds that I use in the gym. Number one, the Beats Fit Pro. These have probably the best fit for non-earbuds. Let me say that correctly. These have the best fit for earbuds that don't have full hooks, okay? The Beats Fit Pro. Now, these little hooks right there, believe it or not, these are gonna stay in your ears. However, if you like me and you sweat like a runaway slave, okay, you might need something with a little bit more grip. That brings me to the Power Beats Pro, okay? These are the only two earbuds you see me working out with. The Power Beats Pro, these, okay, now with this hook right here, you could do 100 backflips. These are not gonna come out of your ears. Now, these don't have active noise cancellation. These do. Now, it all depends on where you work out at because in my gym, they like to play a lot of Britney Spears, a lot of Molly Cyrus, you know, all that bullshit. And you don't wanna hear Britney Spears while you're listening to DMX at the same time. So sometimes if I'm going in peak hours, I need active noise cancellation, then I'm gonna come out with the Beats Fit Pros. Okay, but if it's a regular day and I'm like if I go early in the morning and I'm gonna be doing my hardcore sweaty workout and I wanna use earbuds, the Power Beats Pro. These are my two earbuds for the gym. Okay, let's keep it moving. Now, let's talk about, matter of fact, let's do my top 10 truly wireless earbuds. But before we do that, I promised y'all I was gonna give y'all an update with the Sennheiser Momentum 4s. Now, I did actually go out and buy the copper version because one thing I noticed, I only been using these for about a week and look at the case. The case is already starting to get dirty. So I would not recommend buying the silver if you're gonna be rocking these every day. This case is gonna be filthy before you know it. Now, the copper case does look a little bit better. Okay, and here's how the copper ones look. These are my favorite earbuds right now. And one more thing I gotta mention, okay, with the Sennheisers, if you got an iPhone, okay, if you got an iPhone or you got a Galaxy, you never really heard these yet, okay? You never really heard these yet. In order to really hear these, let me show you what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to get a phone like an Asus ROG. And watch this. Now, I'm gonna take these out. Also, one of the things with the Sennheisers, make sure you try those sports fins, okay? Put the sports fins on. But I wanna show you something. Okay, so we're gonna let these go ahead and connect. Let's go to Momentum 4, right? Check this out. You're gonna need to have a phone that supports Qualcomm APTX adaptive audio. If you're using an iPhone or using a Galaxy, they're gonna sound good, but you never really heard these yet. In order to really hear these and really appreciate how dope these sound, you're gonna have to get a phone that supports APTX, okay? And it's gonna sound totally different when you go to your Sennheiser app you're gonna see, you're gonna switch your codex to lossless, okay? And these are gonna sound incredible. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention, a lot of y'all be taking, when I say my top 10 or my top five, some of y'all be taking it way too seriously, okay? Anything that you see in my top five or my top 10 can be somebody else's number one, 
Okay, if I say I like the momentums and then the B&O's number two, somebody could like the B&O's as they favorite. Somebody could like the Sony's as they favorite. You know, earbuds and headphones is truly subjective. We all got different ears. We all hear things differently. We all listen to different music. And there's um, things that we all looking for that are different. Some people want loud volume, extra bass. Some people want more clarity, more vocals. Okay, now me, I'm a bass head. So I'm looking for maximum volume and maximum bass. And the Sennheiser Momentum Force, these deliver. All right, so let me give y'all my top 10. Okay, these are my top 10 truly wireless earbuds. And remember, anything that you see in this video right now in the top 10, any day of the week, these could be my number one. For me, number one on my list, I'm going with the Sennheiser Momentum 4, the copper color. If you notice, I put the little sports fins on it. These have the best fit for me. Now, I like the fit better than the B&Os, okay? Not to mention, you got to do the personalized hearing. Do the personalized hearing test. Make sure you get a real phone that supports all of the codexes. And then do a real test with these. These are going to blow you away. Okay, so these are my number ones. But they can be number two or number three any day of the week. But as of today, these are my number one. Number two on my list, I'm going with one of my favorites, the BNO EX. Now these, to me, the fit is kind of subjective. I'm using the comply foam tips. I get a better fit with the Sennheisers, but these right here, okay? The Sennheiser Momentum Fours number one, B&O EX number two. Now, somebody asked me, if you got the B&O EX, should you upgrade and get the Sennheiser Momentum Fours? The answer is no, okay? If you, if you got a 2000, if you got a 2024 BMW, should you upgrade and get the 2025 just because it has one more feature? No, of course not. If you got the B&O EX, you're still good. And one more thing I want to address, people been saying, okay, the Sennheiser Momentum 4s, they sound like the Momentum 3s. Okay, they sound like the Momentum 3s. They're supposed to. <laughs> okay, they're supposed to sound like the Momentum 3s. You're getting that Sennheiser signature sound. Now, if you had the Momentum 3s, and then you bought the Momentum 4s, and they sounded totally different, that's gonna be a problem, okay? If you got the threes, you shouldn't have to really run out and upgrade just to get the fours, just because you want a, a new codex and a little more uh, Bluetooth LE and all this bullshit. As far as sound quality, okay, if you got the Momentum threes, you're good to go. Now, before I even finish the top 10, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about. I read all of the comments, and a lot of people saying, why don't I ever talk about Sennheiser quality control? Now look, I can only talk about issues that affect me. Now, out of all of my Sennheiser earbuds, look, here goes my number ones. All right, Sennheiser 1. These are Sennheiser 2, Sennheiser 3, and Sennheiser 4. Out of all of these, the only issue I had was with my Sennheiser Momentums, the originals. Now, after about, I think it was maybe four months, the case stopped charging. Now, I hit up Sennheiser, and they sent me a new pair. I didn't hit them up under Flossy Carter, because that's not, that's not my real name. When I order products online, I don't be like, yo, this is Flossy Carter from YouTube. I use my real name. I'm not trying to get a deal on it. I, 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 the, the Sennheiser customer service was pretty good for me. Now, I don't know. Everybody has different experiences. I only had one issue. Okay, my case wouldn't charge. Now, just for this video, let's pull this out. Let me grab a phone. I want to show y'all something real quick. Okay, let's exit out of these. This is my Momentum Ones. Let's gonna take these out of the case, put them in my ears, set power on. Okay, now I'm gonna connect. Okay, true wireless, not the fours. Hold up, not the fours. Okay, look, the Momentum True Wireless. Okay, so I just connected. These are my original Momentums. Let me play some music real quick. Let's um. Go to YouTube Music. Let's play Uncle Murder. Okay. Now, I know if y'all hear that. This is one earbud. This is the left side. Okay. These earbuds work perfectly fine. Now, I had these in the drawer right, for about, I don't know, maybe about a year. I pulled them out, charged them up, and they worked. Now, the same thing. Let's try the Momentum 2s. I'm going to make this part of the video quick. Momentum 2s. Okay, we we'll take them out, drop them in my ears. Okay, let me see. Let me go ahead and connect these. Okay, hold up. I think I grabbed the wrong ones. Let me grab the twos. Let me grab the momentum twos. Put these in real quick. Okay, said power on. Said connect it. Momentum true wireless two. Okay, 
Got to do a little firmware. I haven't used these in a while. Let's go back to the music. Okay. Now let's hit play on the music. Y'all hear this? Right side, left side. These work no problems. Okay, so the point of this right now, let me just put on, let me not, not mix these up. The point I'm trying to make, quality control issues, I can't really talk about if I'm not having that issue. Now, like I said, I only had one major issue with Sennheiser, but I read all of the comments. A lot of y'all have issues with Sennheiser, so that's one thing you gotta be mindful, okay? You just gotta be careful. When you buy these, make sure you get that warranty. Okay, make sure you make sure you sign up for that warranty and make sure you keep everything official tissue. All right, so that's um that's it for the warranty segment of the video. Now let's get back to my top ten. Okay, so number one on my list, I'm going with the Momentum Force. Number two, BNO EX. Now, like I said, any day of the week, I could grab either one of these, and these could be number one. If you got either one of these, you're on top of the food chain. If you got anything in my top ten, you're on top of the food chain. Okay, so let's take it to number three. Number three, now I'm going with the Bowers and Wilkins. Now the only thing about these, they don't have the best fit, okay? These ain't gonna be the sports earbuds, okay? But the sound quality on these, crazy, okay? The b and O's. these are I'm not the Bowers and Wilkins. The Bowers and Wilkins, number three. Number four on my list. Now these right here. That DVLA Gemini's. Now this is another company. They have good quality, uh, good uh, customer service. My remember my original Gemini's. That's the ones that the left earbud stopped charging after about six months. I hit them up. They sent me a new pair immediately. No questions asked. Okay, so DVLA. Now with the Gemini twos, I haven't had any issues with these. These sound incredible. The active noise cancellation is incredible. And like I said, any day of the week, I could just pull these out of my pocket, and these would be my favorites. Okay, DVLA Gemini 2. That's number four. Number five on my list. Now, these are my brother. My brother, he loves these for some reason. The Master and Dynamics MW09s. Now, I actually love these two. Again, not the, you know, these are big bulky style earbuds. Okay, so I wouldn't rock these in the gym. No wing tips at all. But the sound quality. Okay, I had these on the other night when I was doing some camera testing, walking around the hood. And I was like, yo, these should sound incredible. Okay, Master Dynamics MW09s. These are my top five. Now, if you got any one of these, you can watch a thousand and one different reviews. Somebody's gonna say these are their number one, somebody's gonna say these, somebody's gonna say these. It's very subjective, okay? Don't 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 take it too personal. Oh, you said these was number one. How are these number one? Any one of these could be number one. These are just my personal favorites. Okay, that's my top five. Then after that, another one that I absolutely love. The Audio Technicas. Now these, uh, you know, the pencil style, this is another reason why I had to bump down the uh, B&Os to number two. I'm always gonna prefer the non-pencil over the pencil style, but these ones right here, okay? These ones right here, I love these. I took these on a bunch of different trips, okay? As you can see, they still work fine. Audio Technica, underrated earbuds. Okay, that's number six. Number seven, I'm gonna go with the Techniques. Okay, these sound incredible. The app is very good. Okay, I, active noise cancellation, everything on deck. The techniques you can't go wrong with. Again, a lot of people don't know about those. That's number seven. Number eight, okay, number eight. Now we got a change in the list, number eight. I've been using these more and more now. The Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras. Okay, you see the Ultras got the silver trim. These have the supreme active noise cancellation, to me, even better than the Sony's. Okay, the Sony's was usually my number one for active noise cancellation. These are now my number ones. Not to mention these have the Snapdragon sound, so they sound a little bit better than the Sony's. Okay, so the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras. Then after that, I gotta go with the classic Sony's. Okay, the baby crying. Okay, if you got the baby crying next to you at work <laughs> or in your house, you might wanna pick up a set of these. I love the small design, non-pencil style look. Top tier noise cancellation, actually God tier, right up there with the Bose. Sound quality, you gotta play with the EQ, play with the app, get everything um, all set up. And again, make sure, you have an, uh, make sure you have a phone that supports LDAC. Okay, now if you use an iPhone, a lot of these earbuds, you're not gonna get the full potential. And to round off my top 10, now usually I would say the Clips or something, maybe the AirPod Pros, but I've been rocking the Jobbers lately. The Jobbers, you're gonna have to download the app, play with the EQ settings, but the Jobbers sound great. 
Okay, not the best active noise cancellation, but they sound best. All right, they sound great. The clips could be my number 10 also. I do like the clips, but I think I'm gonna go with the jobbers for this list. Okay, so this is my top 10 truly wireless earbuds. Again, I can't stress this enough. If you got the Sennheiser Momentum 3s, yeah, these are, they're gonna sound very similar. Would I upgrade if you already got the threes? No, if you already got the threes, no reason to drop another 300 bucks just for some internal tech. But if you got the Momentum 2s or the Momentum 1s, now it's time to upgrade. Okay, these sound incredible. And again, that copper look right there with the sports fins, I'm feeling these. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's get into over-the-air headphones. Let me give you all my top five over-the-air headphones. Number one on my list, I'm going with the B&O H95s. I love these. These are the headphones that I use when I'm sitting up in my office and I'm enjoying a nice glass of cognac, you know what I'm saying, champagne. If I'm having some champagne in the house, these are the ones that I rock with, okay? The B&O H95s, the sound quality on these. And you might wanna use these wired with something like this, one of these little Sony music players that have a hi-fi DAC in it, and you're gonna really enjoy these, okay? H95s, that's number one. Number two on my list, I'm going with the Focal Bathys. Now I had these on in the airport the other day, everybody was like, yo, what are those? <laughs> okay, because these have a unique design to them, but the sound quality, bro, the sound quality on the Focal Bathys, you're gonna have to pay to play with these, okay? They're not cheap, but they worth every penny. That's number two. Number three, now these are the ones that I like to look the best. The Master and Dynamics MW75s. And not just any MW75s, the AMG Editions with the carbon fiber. I've been traveling with these a lot. I love these, the ANC is top tier. Okay, these are super comfortable and they sound amazing. I shoes you want the 80s, you're gonna get a rock out. I shoes, calm down. All right, so that's number three on my list. Number four, okay, number four, I'm gonna go with the Bowers and Wilkins PX8s. Okay, now the sound quality on these, incredible. Noise cancellation, I like a little bit better on the MW75s, but these are gonna get the job done. These are super premium. I don't like these cheap plastic filling headphones, especially when I'm trying to sit back and enjoy some music. I want something that has a little bit of heft to it. Okay, some excellent build quality. These right here, okay? All of these that you see on the table, excellent build quality, excellent sound. Okay, so that's number four, the PX8s. And number five, okay, number five, <laughs> I had these on the other day too. Believe it or not, I'm still rocking out with the AirPod Max. Now y'all see I got the Pataka carbon fiber covers on them. AirPod Max, now the white ones, they did get super dirty. I got them in blue also. These right here, the noise cancellation on these is incredible. Okay, if you travel a lot, these are super comfortable and they sound great. If, if you got an iPhone, these might be the ones to go. All right, these might be the ones to go with. Those are my top five. Now, after that, let, I'll just do a few more. After that, I would say, let me go with the Sennheiser Momentum Force. Okay, the overhead. These Sennheisers right here, these probably have one of the best bass responses out of all of these. Maybe the folk out about these probably got better bass, but Sennheisers, if you're heavy into bass. Then after that, I need God tier noise cancellation. So I got two sets right here. When I'm traveling, I like to have these in my bag. The Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras and the Sonys. Okay, the Sony, the M5s, and the Quiet Comfort Ultras. These have the supreme active noise cancellation, even though everything else that I named in my top fives, to me personally sounds a little bit better. But these two right here, now, if you're just gonna buy one set of headphones and you want that active noise cancellation, personally, I would go with the Bose. All right, I would go with the Bose and then the Sonys. Okay, then after that, we got everything else. So these are my top over-the-air headphones. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's talk about gaming headphones and gaming earbuds. Now, when it comes to gaming headphones, the ones that I've been using every day are the Sony Zones. I love these, okay? Super lightweight, that noise cancellation actually works. I love the microphone that you just, you know, switch up and down to turn it on and off. These are the ones that I've been rocking out with. Now, I do have the B&Os. They sound better, but the mic is kind of trash. The same thing with the Master Dynamics. They sound better, but the mic is trash. These actually have the best mic from all of the gaming headphones that I use. Okay, so we're gonna go with the Sony Zones. Now, when it comes to gaming earbuds, 
I also been using these Sony end zones. I thought these was gonna be my favorites. But last week, I just got these right here. Now, I put them back in the box for dramatic effect. The Razer Hammerhead Pro Hyper Speed. Now, these is 200 bucks, okay? These right here. They do have, um, <laughs> they do have the, check this out. You got the RGB lights on the sides. These are pencil style, okay? Pencil style earbuds. But for gaming, okay? For gaming, these kind of blew me away. They sound incredible. And for me, gaming, now I like to play a lot of fighting games. It was almost too much for me, <laughs> okay? Having these in your ears, you know, all of those Mortal Kombat hits, it felt like they was going right into my brain. But the mic, the mic sounded better than the Sony end zones, okay? So I actually use these for gaming. These are my favorite gaming earbuds, okay? Now they do come with a little piece. You can use these on your PlayStation. You can also use them on your PC, okay? Now they do make the Xbox versions. Let me see, how did I drop these back in here? Hold up. Okay, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Let me show. Let me show you what they came with. I don't even know why I put them back in the box, but it does come with this little dongle right here. Okay, so if you're gonna use your PC, plug these right in. Okay, if you're gonna use PlayStation Five, plug this right into your PlayStation. Okay, there's a little switch on here. Hold up. Yeah, that was it right there. Let me peel this. Why did I, did I not even take this off? Hold up. Okay. Matter of fact, oh, okay, this, this is the dongle right here. You just have to plug this right into your, play, your PlayStation 5. Plug this into your PlayStation 5. It's automatically going to pair up your earbuds. They do have an app that's available that you can um, change the RGB lights, turn them off and on. My biggest downside to these was the battery life. Battery life, after three hours, mine was completely dead. Now, I'm going to try them again with the RGB lights off. Maybe they last a little bit longer, but I read a bunch of reviews. A lot of people were saying these don't have the best battery life, but the sound quality. The sound quality for gaming, okay? If you're in a game and talking your mic at the same time, check these ones out, okay? These are the Razer Hammerhead Pro Hyper Speed. Okay, now I'm going to be rocking these tonight whilst I play some Mortal Kombat. Now, speaking of gaming, one more thing I wanted to update y'all with. A lot of people was asking me, do I still use this? Do I still use the PlayStation Portal? And the answer is yes, without a doubt. Now, y'all see me, anybody who follows me on Twitter, you see me post something on Twitter the other night challenging anybody to Mortal Kombat 1. Any of y'all who accepted that challenge and got defeated, <laughs> any of y'all who got bodied the other night, the reason you lost to me is because I'll be using this. I right, the reason my Peacemaker was so strong after only a couple of days, as soon as I downloaded it, I went in my bed, okay, my, and I, I like to game in my office, but I use the PlayStation Portal so I can practice my combos in the bed. So this now, a lot of people bought this thinking it was something else. This is not a Steam Deck, it's just a remote player. A lot of people was asking me, oh, what about the backbone? The problem with the backbone is, it, it, has, a, it has a corny controller feel to it. This one feels exactly like the PlayStation 5 and it vibrates. Now, if you play fighting games, fighting games is all about muscle memory. So you don't want to be using your DualSense controller and you get the hang of certain combos, you know, especially these long Mortal Kombat 1 intricate combos, and then you try to use a different controller that's square shape and doesn't vibrate, it's going to feel like a different game. So I would say the PlayStation Portal for 200 bucks, if you like the game in the bed and your, and your PlayStation is in a different room in the house, that is a mandatory item. Okay, so gaming earbuds, like I said, the end zones, these are dope. Okay, well, let me see, it was the end zones. Yeah, the end zones, okay, I was, I was thinking of the wrong ones. The end zones has the little switch, you see? PC, mobile, and PC. With the razors, all you gotta do is use that little, let me make sure I don't lose this. Use this for your PlayStation and this for your PC. All right, shoes, calm down. Let me put this in my pocket. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's talk about the Galaxy S24 Ultra. By now, everybody did the update, so you got the vividness slider, okay? After the update, when you do your scumbag zoom photos, they do look better. But a lot of people been asking me to talk about the grainy display issue. Now here's the thing. I read all of the comments. Some of y'all even talking about, oh, why are y'all reviewers scared to talk about that? Oh, y'all scared to talk about that? Bro, 
this ain't a review unit, okay? This is a, a phone that I paid for myself. Anybody who watches any of my full reviews, I spent over an hour, a full hour talking about things that I don't like. Why would I be scared to talk about something that I don't like? That's a fucking stupid comment. But here's the thing, I hate jumping on bandwagon issues. What I mean by that is like the phone bending. Now I never bent a phone in my whole life, so I'm not gonna make a video talking about, oh, if this phone bends or not. To me, that's just jumping on the bandwagon, trying to get views from somebody else's issue that they had. I'm not gonna do that. Now, as far as the vividness issue, that's a legitimate issue, okay? That's exactly why I covered it. But the grainy display issue. Now, I didn't even know what that was at first, and then I had to do a little research. So people saying the grainy display issue happens when you have your phone between one and 10% uh, brightness. Now, if you wanna piss me off in real life, all you gotta do is pass me a phone and be like, yo, check this out, and try to show me something on your phone with the brightness down this low. That's gonna piss me off. The reason I never talked about that and I don't even know about it and I don't even care about that, if you watch any of my videos, you're never gonna see any phone in my pocket that's not on maximum brightness. Even in the middle of the night, okay, I might have my girl sleeping right next to me in the middle of the night. Okay, I wanna be a little courteous. I might drop the brightness down to about 70. Okay, this way my phone don't look like a beacon in the middle of the night, but it's never gonna go lower than 70. Okay, so for me, that's a non-issue. Now, that might be an issue for some of y'all young Thundercats who have 20-20 vision, especially like Amaya who, who always got her brightness down like this. Hold on, let me, let me show you. Every time I pull out Amaya's phone, she'd be like, yo, dad, look at this TikTok, look at this TikTok. I can't see this shit. I wouldn't even, I, I don't want to look at a phone like this. Okay, I don't want to look at a phone like this. So that's exactly why I didn't talk about it. Now, that doesn't mean it's not a real issue. It could be a real issue for y'all, but I'm not going to talk about it because for me, I just don't care about it, okay? Like, I don't care about a, a I'm not gonna be buying a phone for 1,200 bucks. You see all of these new phones, 3,000 nits brightness, the Honor phone, 5,000 nits brightness, and I'm gonna be walking around my phone on minimum brightness. It's never gonna happen for me. Now, if all y'all go to, come through in the comments and let me know if y'all having an issue with a grainy display, but look, even if I put the phone low like this, let's see. Okay, now let's try to take it over to Facebook. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't see using my phone like this. <laughs> I really couldn't. I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's just crazy. But I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Me, personally, my phone is always like this. Okay, always like this. Sennheiser Momentum 4, Bluetooth 5.4. That's another thing. People have been saying that, okay, it says Bluetooth 5.3 on the website, but Sennheiser is saying Bluetooth 5.4. Get it from the horse's mouth. I get the information from the horse's mouth. They saying Bluetooth 5.4. I'm going to go with Bluetooth 5.4. Anyway, I right, shout out to um, Amina, I missed the wedding in, the, in Jamaica. So anyway, so that's why I'm not gonna talk about that issue. As far as the update, y'all seen when I did the, um, the Oppo video, I showed y'all the Zoom post update and pre update. The Zoom actually looks better. Let me show you what it looks like now. This is post update. This is the scumbag Zoom post update. It looks way better, way better. Okay, that's, that's real Zoom right there. Look at that, look how, look how clean that is. Samsung is really killing it right now. Okay, so as of right now, this is still my favorite phone. I haven't had any issues with this. Okay, this is um, this is still a beast. Let's keep it moving. Anything else we want to talk about? Okay, matter of fact, I do got some other stuff I want to show y'all. All right, so one last update. My favorite portable battery charger. Now, I've been using this one every day. I love it so much. I actually went out and got another one because I want to have dual setup on my desktop. This one is so dope. Look at this display, hold on, let me plug this in. Check that out. You got the actual display, transparent look, and this one is water resistant. This is my favorite portable battery charger. Okay, now I did a full video on these. I love this one. Okay, this one is worth every penny. Let's kind of wrap this video up. All right, so this is just a quick update video. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these, and if you got any questions, leave it in the comments section. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding that at Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. 
And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pinch your go. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. What a situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.